turn my camera around so you can see what's on my desk. All right, I have my piece of paper. We're about to get started. Um, hey, Nathan, you're just on time. And if people struggle to get on, uh, that's fine. We'll catch them up in a little bit. All right, so my paper is horizontal, or my sketchbook is horizontal. So yours should be too. It's a little blurry right now, but it'll get in focus in a little bit. Um, if you want, you could do yours in pencil if you'd like. That way it's a little bit easier to erase stuff if you guys make a mistake. I'm using marker just in case you guys are having trouble seeing it on video or on camera. All right, here we go. Now, in order to draw, what we're about to draw is you want to make sure it's horizontal. So that means left to right or side to side. You don't want to make sure, uh, you don't want your paper to be vertical. Okay. And I do see Kayla running to get something. So maybe I should wait for her. But you know what? This part will be easy. She can catch up to this part. So, first step. I want you guys to go on the very bottom of your page and we're gonna draw snow. In order to draw snow, I'm just gonna draw a nice, somewhat straight line to symbolize the snow. The point is you don't want to have a crazy wavy line because you want to have what we're about to do sit on it nice and good. There we go. All right, we will be doing a gingerbread house for our first picture for uh, December. And it should be a really cool one. We're going to be doing one that's uh, a lot more advanced than kindergarten. Kayla, do you have a question? I've made a gingerbread house on um, how to draw on YouTube. Oh, good job. Then this should be no problem. All right. So, again, we're going to be doing a more advanced one than kindergarten, and I'll show you guys their version in a little bit. All right, first step. I want to draw a candy cane on my left-hand side, but watch how I do it. I'm going to draw a vertical line not so close to the edge of my paper. So I'm about like three fingers away from the edge. You don't have to measure if you don't want. So I'm going to draw my line right here. I'm going to go about that high. And then I want to make sure I have that same distance on the other side. So here's my right side. I'm going to go far away from this edge. So my line should be right around here. And the reason why I want to do that line next instead of doing the candy cane first is because I want to make sure that they're the same height. Okay, so it's a little bit of the same height, just like so. All right, here comes the tricky part. You guys ready? Now, if I go right here, this is the middle. Oh, it's a little blurry, sorry. Now, this is the middle right here. You don't want to draw a line there. So I'm going to go a little bit towards the left, right around here. I'm gonna draw another vertical line. And notice how it's not in the middle. It's not in the middle. I repeat, it's not in the middle. Okay. All right, next step. You guys ready? All right, next step is I wanna go on this side and I wanna make this one into a candy cane by creating a nice large curve. Okay. Kind of looks like a hook. And then from the end right here, from this hook, it's going to go inwards and loop it around until you hit the snow. So that's one candy cane. All right. Next candy cane. I want you to go in this one. This one's a little bit easier or harder. I don't know which one it could be. Uh, you're going to do another candy cane, but you're going to go the opposite direction. So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to try to make sure that the ends of my candy cane are a little bit even. So it's probably going to go right there. I'm going to curve inwards again. And then I'm going to hit the snow once more. Now, before you do the stripes, I do want to tell you or give you guys one more suggestion. Um, some people do uh, horizontal stripes like this, but in order to make it more realistic, I had to go from a corner and kind of make my stripes at an angle. That way your candy canes look a tad bit more like a real candy cane. And as you go to that curve, just turn the angle of those stripes as well. All right. I like to be making my other candy cane that's facing the opposite way, have diagonal lines going the opposite way too. So I'm gonna go from this corner instead and I'm gonna do diagonal lines the opposite way, just like so.
All right. I'll wait a little bit longer because I think I'm going a little too fast here. All right. Now, if you guessed it, if you know what this line is, it's going to be another candy cane, but it's going to be the same one as this somewhat middle one. Okay, so I'm going to go from here, I'm curve outwards. I think it's about the little lower down. Maybe run around there. Yeah, it's a good height. All right, and I'm going to curve all the way until I get to the snow. And I think I'm going to do the diagonal stripes the same direction as this one right here. Just like so. All right. Awesome. I can't wait to color these. Hey, Kamaya. Hello. Oh, uh, we're just doing um, a gingerbread house, if you guys just logged on. Um, all you need is a piece of paper and something to draw with. Uh, if you don't want to draw, you can just watch. Oh, and she left. Okay. Next step. You're going to look for these two candy canes right here. You're going to find the top middle of them. So try to find where the top middle is right here. I want to make a dot. So my dot's going to be right there. It's nice and high. Now what you're going to do from this dot, we're going to draw a line going to this candy cane and a line to the other candy cane right here. Okay. Kind of looks like a teepee. Now it is made out of graham crackers. So we have to make this line a little bit thicker. Uh, give me one sec, Brian. So I'm going to go from here on the inside. I'm going to make a thin line going here. And another one right there. All right, uh, Brian, what's your question? Did you have a question, Brian? Go ahead. Are we making the house now? Yeah, the, the whole thing is the gingerbread house. All right, um, that was a good question, though. All right, next step. Going from the top of this roof, you're going to make a horizontal line going towards the right, but watch where I stop. I stop before I get too close to this candy cane right there, okay? The reason why I stop, because instead of going straight, like horizontal, like left to right, I'm gonna go down in the angle like this. I'm gonna angle it now to that candy cane. Okay. All right, next step, you're gonna go from right here or from this candy cane right there, you're gonna draw a horizontal line going to the other candy cane like this. And now that should look like a side of a roof. Pretty cool, huh? All right, this part gets a little bit more tricky. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna make kind of like the size of a quarter circle like that, size of like a, a coin, quarter. And then I'm going to create a dot in the middle. And then from that dot, I'm going to spiral outwards, just like so. All right. All right. Since it's that high, this is going to be the middle of my door. So I'm going to go down below from the snow. I'm just going to create a nice big loop around that candy. And there, you got your door. All right, I'm not sure if you guys ever had this snack before, but they're Utz pretzels. You guys have probably seen them. They look like a window. I'm going to draw one in the center right here. If you want to draw two squares, that's fine. I'm going to round my edges a little bit so it looks more like a Utz pretzel. And the inside, I'm going to create four squares. So I'm going to go in the middle of this square right here. I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. And in order to symbolize that it's a pretzel, I'm going to create dashes on this part of the square and not in the inside of the mini squares. And this is going to make it look like it's the salt on that snack. All right, I'm going to go a little bit faster, unfortunately, because it looks like I'm running out of time here. All right, if you want to add like a snowman or a pathway or some trees or gumdrops on the roof, you can. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm just going to speed up a lot 
and you guys can just watch or you guys can draw with me if you'd like but i'm just going to add some extra stuff that you don't have to do if you don't want to so basically we're done with the gingerbread house i'm just adding extra stuff so you guys can see some people like to draw gumdrops on the top of the roof i can add five i think if you want to add like a heart candy on top of the door you can i'm gonna make mine a little three-dimensional if you want to add waves on top of this roof you can just like so Kind of symbolize the icing. It's kind of cool. Unless you just want to add dots in the roof too, that's fine. Mr. Um, Mill, I think this I think this project would make a great gift for some friends or a card or a decoration. I love it. Oh, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna add a snowman on this side. Oh, I should have added a tree. Never mind. Maybe a snowman will work. But Mrs. Hardigan is completely right. I think this project would look really great for a gift. Let's see. I'm going to try to finish up as fast as I can. Sorry, guys. I know we're kind of running out of time here. All right. I do want to show you guys one more thing before you guys go. Um, so remember how I told you guys that this is the more advanced version than kindergarten? Look what I did for kindergarten. For kindergarten, their gingerbread house is way more simpler. But I, mean, I did add extra stuff. But notice, look at the house. You can only see the front of the gingerbread house. But for yours, so if I flip over to your candy cane house, so that's another kindergarten one right there, you guys get to see the front and the side of the house. So yours is a lot more advanced than kindergarten, okay? If you want to add extra stuff like how they did, you can. They had room for like a tree, they had room for a chimney, and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave this one up to you guys right there. If you want to show yours to us, you guys can hold it up to the camera so we can all see. I'll be awesome. I'm going to stop the recording too while we're at it.